The degradation of these people is so complete as shown here. Just a short video to tell you with absolute reason and logical certainty that I will be unlikely to mention either the Bible Humping Nutsack or Matthew Whiny Teen on my YouTube channel or elsewhere ever again. I have come to the conclusion that these two individuals very obviously have dark skeletons in their closets. But rather than taking responsibility for their thoughts and actions, they have chosen to take the Christian cop-out so loved by the weak of will. They don't need to ask anyone's forgiveness for their past transgressions, because they can scapegoat them onto Jesus, who forgives all ills. They don't have to be accountable for anything that they have thought or done in the past, because they can project all their bad deeds and blame them on Satan. And they can even feel better about themselves, if only for a while, by pointing to non-believers and deluding themselves that non-belief is a worse sin than anything they themselves might have done. Of course, not confronting their personal shortcomings means that they never actually address them and deal with them, which is why their unreformed personas so often leak through their pathetic defences. If you ever wondered why more Christians come out of prison than go in, this is your answer. Religion is the easy option for criminals who feel bad about what they have done, but not bad enough to actually do anything to address their behaviour. Of course, scapegoating and projecting do not deal with any of the underlying issues, which is why religion does nothing to reduce recidivism rates. So anyway, I am consigning these two individuals to the Jason Burns list of people to be ignored and starved of the oxygen of attention they so crave to sustain their dangerously deluded mental state. Now you might think that taking the piss out of these people is fun, or engaging in debate with them gives you a chance to test your debating skills or expose their absurd positions. But in reality you are simply giving them sustenance. Each time they rehearse their scapegoating and projection to an audience strengthens their delusion that they have no need to actually confront their personal demons. Why say sorry when they can scapegoat? Why introspect when they can project? Jason Burns is now pretty much reduced to talking to himself on YouTube. The only reason that the Bible-humping nutsack has not gone full Burns up to now is because he has found a few mutual mental masturbation mates online. But without atheists giving him that dirty feeling he craves, he will soon tire of his routine proselytizing porn fix. What you do is of course your choice. But remember that it is impossible to have an honest discussion with someone who is dishonest to the core. Thanks for watching.